I have, um, I, I have some friends I need you to meet. So, James, Summer, and Addie, come on up. Are you okay? Paige, it's okay if you come too, because you can stand anywhere you want. Okay? Because okay? everyone will be able to see over you. So, okay. uh, uh, this, this is James and Summer. Say hey. Hi. Hey. hey. And that's Paige. We love Paige. She is, uh, she's actually, uh, <clears throat> maybe even in this room, the biggest nut. So, <laughs> I, I know that, that says a lot in this church, but uh, there's, there's nothing right in her head. So, and this is Addie. How you doing, Addie? Good. You know why we're here? Yeah? So we are, uh, we're going to dedicate you to God. That's because your parents know that you are a, uh, you're precious. And that, uh, that you are a gift from God. And that you don't belong to them, you're just on loan to them. That's pretty cool, huh? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> So that, that doesn't mean that you, you can choose better parents later. These are the only ones you're stuck with. So, but God has given them the, uh, the, the role of, uh, of raising you in the church, raising you to love God, raising you to, uh, to honor him with everything you are. And so today they're coming uh, before God and their church to say that, uh, to, to say that publicly and to acknowledge that in the presence of God. Does that make sense? Yeah? You're all over it? Yeah. Because he just you know. keeps using words. That's fine. Yeah. So, I agree. Uh, you stop talking. Right. <laughs> so uh, they, uh, we do uh, baby dedications um, at, at, at any age. So uh, we love it because we know that uh, as soon as you become a parent for the first time, you realize that you really have no idea what you're doing. Right? <laughs> and, uh, and, uh, and, and no matter how many that uh, you're raising, it's like every single one of them seems to have a, a, a new challenge for you. And, uh, and so, first of all, we come to God and say, God, uh, I'm going to do this, but, but I'm doing this with your love, with your support, with your, with your care. And so today, that's what we come for. Um, and, uh, and James and Summer have come and said, this is what we want to do. We want to make sure that, that, uh, that we do this uh, for, for, uh, in front of God and publicly acknowledge that this child is not ours. So I'm going to ask you this. Does that little precious girl, does that, does that belong to God? Yeah. She is absolutely amazing. And she'll probably make up for all the rest of the kids. Hopefully. <laughs> Just kidding. So, <laughs> but... Uh, 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 and do you, will you raise Addie in a home that honors God? Absolutely. Will you raise her in a, in a church that will love her and care for her? Yeah. Will you uh, send her to, uh, to camp and, uh, and go on mission trips with her and, uh, and instill in her a love for God because uh, of the way that they that she has seen you live your life, yeah. Yeah. that's a big ask, isn't it? Yeah. But that is the way we pass on our faith to our kids. So it isn't about uh, coming and making sure that uh, that we bring our kids to church on the weekend so that they can learn, you know, the the Jesusy stuff. This is only reinforcing what they already are learning at home, and so we believe that to be true. So. Uh, when they come and they bring their child in front of the congregation, it's you that will hold them accountable. Not, not, not each individually, but us as a group and the people that they choose to have a, a word in their life because those people come from the, the church that, uh, that they attend, right? And that's us. And if that is true, then Addie is going to need somebody to teach her Sunday school class. We'll, Addie's going to need someone uh, to be in the youth group, to be the, the, the lady that, that, and, the, and the guy that she can see and say, that's somebody who's following Jesus and somebody that I can, I can trust. It's someone else that I can put into my life. 
somebody who will take her to Mexico and teach her how to pound nails uh, uh, to, uh, as, as a way of giving to people that cannot give back to you. She's going to need somebody that will be in her college Bible study so that she has a, 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 a safe place to go and ask really crazy questions about her faith. And that comes from her church. I'm going to ask you this. Church, will, will you be her church and love on her in this way? I can't tell you how important it is that every kid here knows five adults that love them with their whole heart. That they know five adults that will, that will stop everything in their life to spend time with them. Not just here, but as they grow up, you know, you saw the whole mess of kids up here. That's a lot of responsibility. But that's our responsibility as a church. So I'm going to ask you again, will you take responsibility for Addie and her development as a, a woman of faith? If so, say yeah. 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 Let me pray for us. Father God, I thank you for James and for Summer and for the, for the, the love that you have placed in their hearts for each other and for the marriage that, that you are in the midst of. And Lord, I pray that as they continue to seek your face, that you would make them awesome parents for this, uh, for this young uh, a daughter, that you would continue to, uh, to show them the, uh, the, the love that, that you have loved them with and that they would learn to give that away to their daughter. Would you help them to raise the, uh, Addie in a, uh, in a home that honors you in everything that they do, that, they, that, the, that the Bible would not be absence, uh, uh, an absence from their house, that, uh, that they would be uh, constantly um, sharing about what God is doing in their own life with their children. Lord, I pray that you would give them a voice in Addie's life and in her faith. Lord, may we as a congregation be in, uh, in a... Uh, in a vital spot in her life. May she know that she has a church that loves her, that she has adults that, uh, that will uh, continue to invest in her and that will stop and pray for her. Lord, I pray that you would uh, continue to show us your good grace and as you have entrusted uh, Addie to us as a congregation, would you help us to be worthy of such trust? In Jesus' name we pray.